If I think about what happened at the time of the murder, these, these fine blood stains spattering Rosalia's clothing, this hemorrhaging was most likely caused by... That's right. There was a defensive wound on Rosalia's palm. The killer turned his gun on this girl and pulled the trigger. That bullet tore through the hand she held up, ineffectually trying to ward off the blow. It then continued into her body, piercing her heart. <sighs> the fine blood stains were from the blood that came from her hand. This is a gunshot wound. The bullet passed through the body. The entrance GSW is where the bullet enters the body. Conversely, the exit GSW is where the bullet exits the body. Normally, the exit wound is larger than the entrance wound. Which one is this? Comparing the two wounds will help me determine which... Concentrate. Yes. This would be the exit GSW. Gunshots leave distinctive wounds in the human body. It seems the bullet passed all the way through her body. The entrance wound is created where the bullet enters the body, and the exit wound is where the bullet exits the body. The entrance GSW should be much smaller than the exit GSW. With that in mind, this wound should be... That's right, this is the entrance wound. The entrance and exit wounds tell us what happens when someone has been shot. In this case, the victim was shot in the... Yes, the bullet entered through the chest, creating the entrance GSW. It then passed through her body and out her back, creating the exit GSW. This proves that she had been shot from the front. The back of the thigh is the entrance wound, and the front is the exit. If that's the case, the victim was shot Yes, 
the shooter was behind the victim when she was shot. In any case, the wound in the thigh isn't the same size as the wound in the chest. Could this mean that two different firearms were used? I think contacting Little Guy and asking him to look into this would be my best option here. Little Guy, analyze this wound. Understood. This is a penetrating bullet wound from a firearm? That's right. Rosalia was shot. The bullet entered her chest and went through her heart. I don't think there was any doubt that this was a fatal wound. I see. The question now is who pulled the trigger? The events of Rosalia's death are becoming clear. First, the cause of death. The wound that killed Rosalia was... Right. The bullet that went through her chest struck her heart, ending her life. Now, what direction did that fatal shot come from? Indeed, the entrance and exit wounds tell us the path of the bullet through her body. Rosalia was alive just before this shot as well. The evidence for this is... Concentrate. Yes, the wound on her palm is a defensive one, caused by her trying to protect herself from the... Her right hand also has another piece of important evidence. That is... Indeed, the gunshot residue from the shot that killed her. Gunshot residue was left behind when... Yes, gunshot residue is found on targets that have been shot at close range. We can tell that Rosalia had been shot in the chest from a short distance away. Ugh. What would drive someone to be so determined to kill Rosalia? This... Indeed, it means that the gun was fired here, and this is the place that Rosalia was found dead. The cause of death was a close-range gunshot through the heart. Thus... That's right. This is where Rosalia was cut down. But who? on the glass shard has been completed. Huh, you mean the shard that was found near the entrance? Did you figure out whose blood that is? Yes. At first I thought it might be Albert's, like the blood stain on the floor, but it seems that the blood on the glass shard came from Rosalia. Rosalia's? Yes, the DNA matches, there's no doubt. Rosalia left a blood stain indoors as well. What in the world does this mean? Thank you.